Okay, happy Monday. This week is starting with a sexy underwear photo shoot. I've been prepping hard, working hard, eating well, shaved, tanned, trimmed this beard to design and style, and the photo shoot is going very well. In it, don't worry, unless you want to. Be. <laughs> I do weekly vlogs for YouTube as well, just my day-to-day -day activities. So looking sexy on the sofa is your daily activity for today. <laughs> <laughs> my life is very weird. Welcome to Tuesday here in my office because there is a lot of talk of home training going on this week with the coronavirus so i'm providing lots and lots and lots of content youtube instagram everywhere as much as i can to give people no excuses and the ability to train and exercise and feel good at home if they're spending lots of time at home please comment underneath and let me know um what you'd like from me on this channel and instagram and i'll do my best to provide it for you keep a lookout for all my home workouts coming very soon um, and make sure that you've downloaded my Crocker app because it's free and it's got a free week of home training that will never expire, will never start charging you. You can just use it and have fun with it. And um, yeah, although it's quite bad circumstances, I'm enjoying having lots of things canceled, spending a lot of time at home to focus on my content and work. And I know the disruption is massive for a lot of people. A lot of people maybe can't go to work or having to work at home. A lot of people might not be able to earn money and things like that. And I'm massively grateful that I've created this life for myself, this digital life. But I also know for a lot of people this is going to be a really difficult time. Welcome to Wednesday. I've been getting up early um, because Sarah gets up early and because she's working at home now, it kind of feels like we're on like a mini holiday or a very extended weekend. As you can see, I've got my light out because that helps me record. Um, I'm filming pretty much home workouts every single day now. I'm trying to turn them around extremely quickly for Instagram and YouTube. If I'm doing the home workouts, then I might as well be filming them in real time. So make sure that you're not just watching these vlogs, but you're watching the workouts and hopefully doing them as well. This is all a bit of a rush. Got to get my protein in now and then head to uh, get my hair cut. Kind of need it, I think. Guys, I just want to say that every night before I go to bed, most nights before I go to bed, I sit and read, depending on how tired I am, um, will depend on how much I actually read. But I just finished this book, Can't Hurt Me, by David Goggins. It is an absolute inspiration. I know that I know that it's a bestseller, so some of you have probably already read it, but it really uh, shows you what you are truly capable of in your mind and your body. And he's inspired me so much about how much you can achieve in a day and so much more. It was a really incredible story to read his life um, has been insane. Um, so yeah, I mean, it takes me back to when I did 24 hours of burpees and things like that. And recently when I did that 100 kilometer workout day, reading this book kind of inspired me to do that um, at that time. So anyway, if you haven't read that, then please go ahead and read it. Good morning, it is Thursday. Unfortunately, today was the day that I'd bought a present for my sister and um, brother-in-law to do a spa. And I was gonna go with my mum to look after my two nieces, but all cancelled, everything's cancelled. I think tomorrow the schools are being closed as well, so it's um, it's crazy times, but for me, I'm extremely busy. I'm making so many videos online to help people with home training, and, and it's all a massive time that a lot of people are on social media, so it's time that I'm extremely busy. And I'm quite grateful that my work, my app, my home fit plan is in a perfect position to help people in a time like this, when not everybody can work and people are going to struggle so i'm going to try to find ways the best ways in which i can help and for me right now my calling my passion is to help people stay fit stay healthy stay mentally well um in times like this where a lot of people are having to stay at home um anyway today's breakfast is the same breakfast that i always have and that is a smoothie made up of almond milk spinach Reflex Nutrition plant-based protein. Make sure you use my code if you want some PT Crockford 50 for 40% off. Links in the caption. Um, we'll have some oats, some flax, sunflower, pumpkin, sesame seeds, and goji berries, and a little bit of greens powder as well. All blended up together. 
Oh, but by the way, I forgot the frozen blueberries as well. That's essential. Today's workout is something that I get requested a lot about at the moment, which is how to work your back at home. And even better, when you have zero equipment, so no bands and no dumbbells, because if you have bands and dumbbells, you can do lots of back work. So make sure you look out, it's probably posted already, for the four exercises that you can do at home with zero equipment for your back. And for the workouts that I did today, I did that back workout and then I just did 20 minutes of cardio type exercises, burpees, running, star jumps, ice skaters, um, 20 minutes worth, and then I just did 10 minute abs as well. So that's my workout done for the day. I think this period of time, although it's tough and crap for everyone, it's a great opportunity to focus on your health, to work out at home, eat well, control the things you can control, and get in great shape. Oh, Friday night, another day, another day full of creating content, making videos. Um, this week I really hit the ground running from Tuesday onwards after that photo shoot to absolutely smash content and make people on social media realize that my platform is a place um, of value that I can give these home workouts. Because up until now I have prioritized um, my gym fit training methods over the home fit although home fit has always been there and i've believed in bodyweight training so much um the shift to bodyweight training now is massive the prime minister in uk has just um told us to close down the restaurant bars and gyms so there's a lot of a lot of talk now that people won't be going to gyms at all so home training it is i'm so grateful that I do love bodyweight training and massively believe in it. Not only that, but home training. I've been filming a lot of things this week, mainly on bodyweight training, but next week onwards, I'm gonna start utilizing kettlebells and dumbbells and bands, etc. so keep a lookout for that. Also, I've been extremely busy, not only in creating my own content, but I've received lots of requests from lots of companies to be a part of their value giving to their following in regards to home training. Um, lots of like Reflex Nutrition and did a live workout this evening with them. Um, I'm gonna be doing live workouts on my channels as well. As well as writing articles of like benefits of home training, my top five tips for home training and stuff like that for, um, I've had articles for the, the Daily Sun, the Daily Star and stuff. So making sure that those pieces get written as well. So it's just been non-stop from the moment i wake up to the moment i'm going to bed it's like 8 30 now i've still got stuff to do editing for tomorrow um so a lot of people are at home not doing much making tiktok videos <laughs> i need to make more tiktok videos um and there's me i'm just like just so busy it's gonna calm down but i knew that i had to just make my presence known this week. Hey, it's Saturday. Just filming a little um, stretching workout for Instagram, the five stretches that I do every single day. I do more than five, but here are five basic stretches. So make sure you look out for that on Instagram. And then I'm gonna go straight into my home fit workout of the day. Ah, oh, today's home fit workout complete. And that was, and that was session three from my free home fit trial in my app, a good full body uh, strength day really, yeah, and I'm still sweating as well. It's a weird, weird week this week. First of all, training wise, I feel like I've enjoyed this deload week where I haven't lifted weights. I've definitely been less active, burnt less calories, but I've been doing body weight training, but of home fit today, I did some uh, lots of push-ups whilst I was filming and stuff like that. So I'm feeling good, my body's feeling better. Next week in the next vlog, I'm gonna start adding weights, dumbbells and kettlebells and up the intensity of the workouts a little bit. Nutritionally, I'm so glad that I'm still on Lent, so I'm not eating any chocolate, any alcohol, not having any cheat meals or anything like that which I'm glad because my mindset normally with this coronavirus and, and everything with some low days and stuff like that, like that, I wouldn't have stayed motivated and would have had some crap food at some stage. So I'm really grateful that my nutrition is still on point as well. So that's keeping me motivated all the way up until Easter. Now, two things about the coronavirus. Here, it's really, really kicked off in the UK this week in regards to full isolation. The government is telling us to um, isolate as much as we can, S social distancing, everything is closed. This week the gym's closed as well. And two things that I wanted to say are is that not everybody is taking the advice and the guidance. There are still people out and about everywhere, going to parties or hanging around or socializing and, and trying to get to the pubs which, before they were closed and stuff like that. There's a reason why the virus is spreading. That's because people are doing this. If we want this virus to slow down and stop and 
minimize as much damage as possible. We all have to just self-isolate and not be sociable right now. Uh, it's hard to do, but you have to do it. There's some people not following the rules when now is the time that we really have to. And secondly is stop panic buying. Stop like went into the supermarkets again today and the the shelves are still bare in so many areas. And that's because people panic bought at the beginning of the week and then it's just the whole ch chain effect of there not being enough stuff. We can still get to the supermarkets, keep your distance from people, don't panic buy it because there's gonna be some people with nothing at all. Think about the old and the vulnerable, the, one, the ones that are hungry and actually really need it. Whereas there's a lot of people that have way too much in their houses, probably gonna binge on it too quickly anyway. Okay, that's the week up for me. I've still got loads of work, loads of editing to do. I really hit the ground running with content and everything this week. So I'm kind of proud of myself, but next week, same again. Look out for my live workouts on Instagram, loads of um, full follow along workouts on my YouTube as well. Um, this vlog might have been a bit boring because I've been focused so much on the other better workout content. But if you're still watching now, thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one, which will be for tomorrow for me. Bye bye.